Oke okay guys, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Balik lagi bersama gue di Anak Konsol Jadi di video ini gue mau kasih tutorial Cara menginstal PES 2013 ya. Nanti juga di sini akan gue share settingannya Tapi untuk device yang gue pakai di sini Bukan Snapdragon ya Tapi di sini gue pakai Mediatek Dimensity 1200 Langsung aja di sini kita buka dulu kontainernya Dengan cara klik titik 3 Kemudian kita pilih run ya dan selanjutnya di sini kita tinggal cari folder tempat penyimpanan gamenya ya. Di sini untuk penyimpanannya itu ada di folder D. Kemudian kita cari PES 2013-nya ya. Selanjutnya di sini kalian install seperti biasa ya. Di caranya itu sudah ada di video gua sebelumnya. Kita tinggal klik kanan pada menu setup Excel, kemudian kita pilih next next untuk menginstalnya ya. Jangan dan jangan lupa di sini kalian harus masukkan serial numbernya untuk PES 2013. Kalian bisa dapatkan di Google. Dan jika sudah memasukkan serial number PES 2013-nya, selanjutnya kita pilih next dan kita pilih penyimpanan tempat menginstal PES 2013-nya. Di sini gua pakai data C dan kemudian ini kita tinggal menunggu proses instalasinya sampai dengan selesai. So the greatest fixture on the footballing calendar, maybe it is El Gran Clasico, no less. It's John Champion and alongside me, Jim Beglin, and we're both thoroughly enjoying the atmosphere at Wembley. Hi John, at this stage I think the players are just desperate to get out there and this promises to be a terrific game. We go then. Alexis Sanchez. Now the chance. Picked it off. Cristiano Ronaldo. Good run down the side. Now what next? Tries his luck. The keeper was tested there. Well, he caught that one right on the meat. Cracking effort.
The ball's with Iniesta. He takes the opportunity to shoot. He's unlucky not to score there. Oh, he couldn't have hit that any better. And any other time it would have sneaked in. That will encourage another try, though. Now Ozil. It's on for him. Now he's ready for a shot. Foul. Three with an easy decision to make. Benzema cuts it out. They're breaking out quickly here. It's opened up nicely for him. He carved out a pretty presentable chance. I thought he showed wonderful feet there. He's definitely one of the best dribblers around in the modern game. Ball in. Another corner. It's a ball in. Wonderful header. The keeper always the favourite there. Great contact, but he just made it too easy for the keeper by going down the middle. He knocks it in. And a skillfully directed header. He proclaims it. He's bursting forward. He went all the way there. Great effort. Oh, that's just lovely skill. He's certainly a player who could single-handedly make a difference. Great talent. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, late challenge. They're off on the counter. Can he now find a finish? Skillfully hit. It's led to a goal. And it's Real Madrid who strike first. Do you put that down to good finishing or to poor defending? Well, he knows that he doesn't have to drift into wider areas too much. And if he doesn't, his chances of a goal increase. Just seen the proof. So we start again at 1-0. Oh look, it's lovely having a player with such ability in your side. He's always capable of coming up with something important. And he's done it again. And he's looking to play it into the channel. Ah, oh, no, it's an own goal. And to put the ball in your own net like that really could take the wind out of their sails. A really unfortunate mix-up for that one. Listen, sometimes you need that little bit of luck in games like these. Bursting forward. Chance. They've done it. Is this it? Has that won it for them? And Cristiano Ronaldo does what Cristiano Ronaldo does best. Well, that's one of his trademark runs. Strong, quick and good with either foot. And that's what makes him so difficult to contain. What great potency. They now lead by one goal. Oh, this fella's missed a reliable whip. The whistle goes to signify half-time. Yeah, despite the own goal, they're still in command of this game for me and looking good.